Thank you. Uh, my name is Pastor KT or Pastor Kimani Thumbi, and I want to send you uh, godly greetings uh, this wonderful Shabbat morning, wherever you are. It could be another day when you are listening to this message. But my greetings this morning or today is about faith. Let's talk about faith uh, this morning. And I believe that God is blessing you wherever you are. I woke up to a wonderful Sabbath morning and I'm looking forward to a, a wonderful service today. But before we go, uh, I thought it's good to send you a wonderful message of faith uh, and ask, just to uplift your heart and to ask you, what do you think faith is? In the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen substance of things that you are hoping substance is something you can touch and then it goes on to say that uh, it is evidence or proof of things that you cannot see that's powerful you know many people think that they have faith it it may sound like a sim as simple as it sounds but what is actually faith it is so important because verse 6 says but without faith it is impossible to please god for he, he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that uh, he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Those who diligently seek him must have faith. That is how important faith is, extremely important. And how do we know that faith is important? Because in the book of Hebrews chapter 3, verse um. 17 and 18 it says wherefore in all things it behoved him to be not 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 there hebrews 3 verse 17 but with whom was he grieved 40 years was it not with them that had sinned whose carcasses fell in the wilderness and to whom saw he that they should not enter into his rest but to them that believed not so we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief there are so many things that happened in the wilderness. And let me tell you, our Heavenly Father Elohim was not happy with the children of Israel. They had a series of complaints. They complained throughout the journey until our Heavenly Father declared that none of them except two people, Caleb and Jacob, uh, no, Caleb and Joshua, those were the only two uh, grown-ups who arrived in the Promised Land. But all other people who are 20 years and above did not make it because the accusation was they had no faith. They complained about water, about thirst. They complained about meat. They pushed Moses too much because they were doubting. When they saw the Red Sea in front of them, instead of looking up and believing in God, having that faith, which we described as evidence of things not seen. They saw the sea and they started blaming Moses. You brought us here, you want to kill us. When they went on, even after that miracle of parting of the Red Sea, when they were in the wilderness and they got so much thirst, they repeated the same words to Moses. Hey, you brought us here and you want to kill us. Oh my goodness. And Moses had to go back to a heavenly father to seek help. And he was told, just talk to the rock and you get water. Our heavenly father throughout the journey was very close to them. Very close. He was never far away. But they never applied their faith. I want to give you two examples as we come to a conclusion of Abraham when he was requested by heavenly father to offer his son remember he had only one son of promise called isaac and the same same son he was requested to go and sacrifice him up on the mountain he went there he never questioned god the bible tells me that he said i know even if i kill him and offer him as a sacrifice the almighty is able to raise him up again and he went ahead and cut the firewood and the knife and asked his son, Isaac, to accompany him. 
Up the mountain, Isaac was asking, where is the lamb? And Abraham was telling him, our heavenly father will provide. And when they went up there, Abraham asked his son, lay down on the firewood. And as he lifted up the knife to actually do it, our heavenly father came down and offered the lamb close by. Our heavenly father is always very close. Abraham became a hero of faith and it's a great example. Example number two is Job. And I want to finish by reading Job chapter 1 verse 18. Let me see uh, how we shall fare in this one. Job chapter 1 and verse 18 to 22. It says, While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house and fell upon the young men and they are dead. And I only I escaped alone to tell thee. Then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshipped and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And the last verse, verse 22 says, In all this, Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. The faith of Job was steadfast. He never accused God in a foolish way. He just praised God. He said, I had nothing. God had given me, and if he, he, whatever happens, he's the one who is still in charge. Do we say that in our lives? We go through many trials and temptations and general experiences through life, experiences of different kinds through our lives, but God Almighty is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And this morning, and today, wherever you are, as you meditate upon these words, Never stop believing in God. Never drop your faith because without faith it is impossible to please God. God bless you.